Hello from Canada and welcome to Theory Query, the show that folks get glued to, just like maple syrup on your favorite outfit. Unlike maple syrup on your favorite outfit, there's something good that's going to be happening in the next week. It's November again, and my birthday just so happens to always fall on the weekend of Extra Life, which is actually great because I love playing games and I love offering all the help and support I can. It's one of the reasons I wanted to do YouTube was to build up this community that can help others. So this will be my third year doing Extra Life. This year I hope to raise $150 and every little bit really, really does help. Every year there's over 50,000 people who join together to play games and help kids. 50% uh, are actually creators on Twitch and YouTube like myself. Most years I've raised just over $100, so this year we are going for $150. Um, we already actually have over $35 in donations, so let's keep it going. Just as an example, from the Children's Hospital Foundation in Manitoba, we are actually able to raise enough funds to help them build a new state-of-the-art heart center. So as you can see, it provides just a lot, and that's just the one province. Of course, we probably should speak on COVID with all of this. I mean, if these kids are in hospital, they often do have conditions that, you know, will make them more susceptible to this. So just as an example, the estimated funding needed for Children's Miracle Network hospitals exceeds $820 million just for patient services, which is the greatest area of funding. The costs related to personal protective equipment have increased by 10%, which means they need $85 million monthly cost, so an estimated $126 million to support telehealth services, personal protection protection equipment, and COVID testing supplies. In addition to all this, there is the drop in insurance losses because the healthcare aides and the healthcare workers are the ones that are going to get hit first and foremost because they are the ones interacting directly with those with COVID to help them and to, to heal them. Because of this, the, the, need for charitable care went well beyond 80 million which was covered by the cmn hospitals uh, funds last year 80 million for job insurance that was surpassed this year plus another 186 million to support telehealth services mental health services protect personal protective equipment and covid testing supplies on top of 820 million needed for patient services and that's just the bare minimum of what was needed due to all the extra stress that COVID had put on the healthcare systems. That's not even factoring in that many of the people in these hospitals will be at greater risk of catching COVID. So beyond the need that they have every year that we try and help and fund and support, they have all this extra burden and that's why it's even more important this year to help out if we can. Every little bit really helps and I just, if you guys can even just show up on Friday and watch me and share the video, you know, hopefully we can raise a nice big amount to help with all of this and alleviate some of the the bad out there <laughs> right now because there's a lot of it and, and it's really heartbreaking so let's help every way we can they need our help um, so returning to all this you know in November every year I, I decide that Hey, my birthday is the same weekend. I'm just going to spend 24 hours playing games to, you know, help sick kids get better. And I hope you'll join me. If you want to play games with me, obviously in person is not really <laughs> as feasible this year. But I am still available to play with me on the stream. Donate whatever you can. Every little bit helps. 
and hopefully you guys will join me for the live stream. See you guys Saturday. Bye-bye.